This is Gallery North, it's Northumbria University's student gallery and uh, at the moment we've got a, an exhibition called Insider Art On and it's all about artwork that's come from all of the prisons in the local region so we've got artwork from um, all of the eight prisons in the northeast region and we've got artwork from one of the secure training centres and some work from HMP Grendham which is down in the southeast of England. The exhibition's been on since the end of November and it's going to be on until the beginning of January and it's the second year that we've held the exhibition and we're really pleased that we've been able to hold it for a second year. It's um, something that Louise Ridley and I are very excited about and we want to make sure that next year the exhibition goes on for longer, more people come along and we have a nice brochure for everybody. In the exhibition we've got about 50 pieces of work but we had probably about 200 pieces submitted to the exhibition and what we do is we make sure that every piece of work that is submitted is on display. So we've got work on the walls but we've also got a DVD reel. So every piece of work that comes in we photograph, we put it on the DVD reel so everybody's work is, is available to have a look at. I think this is one of my favourite pictures in the exhibition. It's called Grief. And um, this is painted by a man who is incredibly remorseful for what he's done. Um, this is the, a representation of the, the mother of the victim of his crime. And essentially, he's concerned that the woman cannot get on with the rest of her life. So all the grey pictures and the grey beings behind her uh, life going on in the background and she can't take part fully in this because of what he has done to this woman's daughter and essentially what this shows is, is remorse and guilt and sadness and um, for what he has done to the, this woman and her family. This installation is made by uh, seven prisoners from one prison and all the materials used here are materials that would, would be normally thrown away so if you look closely on here you can see this some old paper clips, an old pair of glasses, pens, uh, pencil sharpener, bits of card, and these men work collectively to put these things together. For some men, it's the first experience of art, and for other men, they were more experienced in the, in the art rooms. Okay, this, this is a picture that's painted by um, a man in a prison in the northeast, and this picture is interesting partly because of the materials that's used. The man who painted it used his thumb to do the hair on the picture and because artist materials you know, are expensive and prisons can't afford to buy all the materials in that they need. But the other thing that's interesting about this picture is that it's actually painted onto a bed sheet from one of the prison beds and I can show you on here the back of the bed sheet. This is a bed sheet and the bed sheets are taken, painted over so then the prisoners can actually paint onto the sheet straight directly. And the other interesting thing about this picture is painted by a man who previously had no experience of art whatsoever and he's found that art really does help get through some of the time that he has to spend in prison when he doesn't have any useful activity at all. The furniture here is made by men in prison and it's made in the workshops in the prison and they make a range of furniture from garden furniture, furniture for inside the homes, furniture to be used in um, hospital waiting areas etc and this furniture here either goes to charitable organisations or goes, or goes back to the prison to be reused.